so we're taking this even a step further. I had Doug take out the front seat. I want to see if I could fit the fridge from the van in here and the goal zero. If we can make a platform for it, or we have a platform for it. I want to see how I like that. Obviously only when I'm going to be traveling by myself. So there's just four bolts to take out the seat. And we have some tie downs that we have to modify. And we'll use the four holes to tie down the fridge and goal zero. Because those would be dangerous if they were loose. We've got it exactly where we want it. We took the platform out from underneath. Because we really didn't need it. Because there's plenty of space there. So we just need a board to prop it up to make it level. And I had to make sure I could still open the glove box. There's even room around everything to, for more storage. And we also wanted to make sure we could still fit the containers there. So instead of building something just to hold that little flap up, we'll probably just use a bag or another container. My backpack would probably work. I mean, it's going to be held up on the other side anyway, so I think it'll be fine. This is the piece to support the fridge. It's going to go like this, right? Oh, like this. Oh, okay. And uh, are we going to put like a non-stick piece on there? We could. All right, let's do that. I'm going to hold that tight. What do you know? Both of them good. Wait a minute. <laughs> go so this is the setup we're thinking I looked it up and the goal zero can lay on its back I'm just gonna keep make sure it doesn't get too hot from the heat rising and we've got the fridge level that's the back and we can still fit containers there so that's good I do want to build something for Bella to sit on when I want her in the front seat with me. But at times I don't want in the front, like when I'm doing deliveries, I want to build, have something to block her. I mean, I could just put some containers there or whatever, but I'd rather have something more simple. Or just take the cushion and turn it and block her this way, probably. She's going to have a ball running around here. <laughs> So Doug attached four tie downs to where the seat bolts were and he got some strapping so we're going to use the handles of the fridge and the goal zero to strap them down. Use a cinch strap from one, one up through the handle around through this handle and on this and repeat it on the other side. So it's... You had to get lime green, huh? Yes. <laughs> That just goes so well in here. <laughs> that was the only color. <laughs> Look, it actually matches the goal zero. On the side by the driver's seat. And now he's going to do the same thing with the goal zero. Meanwhile, I'm making a little cushion for Bella. This is the size of the fridge. I put non-stick material on the bottom and pinned it with a towel over it. I shouldn't put this in the car. So it'll... Oh, it's a little baggy, so it'll stay in the fridge like that. I want to have this in the van anyway, so I think I'll just put that there. This is my uh, protective seat if I need to pee in a container rug. When I want... Whoa! <laughs> the rug just blew right at me. So windy here. So when I want Bella to be up in the front seat with me, or next to me in the front seat, she has a nice place to sit. Come on, Bella. Come on. She's such a baby, she won't even step up there. Come on. If I move this, will you step up there? Come on. Come on, Bella. Come on. Anyway. So that's for that. Well, she's going to be really high. What do you think, Bella? This is the final setup, right? Yeah. All right, here we have it. So now I can take a fridge with me. Just not Doug. So do I want ice cream or Doug? Let's, let's see. <laughs> Tough decision. I 
and Bella has lots of room for activities. This, this is actually the same exact level as a bed. <laughs> Alright, so here's a final product with Bella's cushion on it. And now Bella. <laughs> She's been getting her muzzle in the dirt. So when I'm doing deliveries and I don't want her up here where the food's going to be, I can put the cushion right there, and uh, she's kind of a baby. She won't jump from here to here, so uh, that'll keep her in the back. It kind of worked out funny that uh, the bed is exactly the same level as this cushion. So one person would have a really long bed. So everything's strapped down. I just threw some stuff up there to store it. Alright, so that's what we're doing with the front seat removed, and if we want to put the seat back, Doug said it'll take about 10 minutes to do. So it's not too bad. Thanks for watching. Take care.